Professor Gail Tahar opens the door to a whole new range of medical treatments. I think most people are aware of ultrasound imaging. For many people, the first time they see their unborn baby is on an ultrasound scan. Many of us can remember the excitement that we feel the first time we see that scan. The reason that we can do these ultrasound scans of the pregnant uterus is because we are pretty sure that we're doing no harm at all to the unborn baby or to the mother's uterus. And ultrasound is already used to diagnose cancer and other conditions. But what we want to tell you about here is the whole new range of ways that we can use ultrasound. The exciting thing about ultrasound energy is that we can turn up the power, we can focus its energy, and that means that we can use an external source of energy and focus it so that we can have biological effects that we can use for therapy deep inside the body. And unlike surgery and other techniques that we use, this is non-invasive. There is no damage between the point of entry of the sound at the skin surface and the tissue that we're targeting. We only cause effects at the tissue target. We can use this focused ultrasound energy in a number of ways for a number of different conditions. For example, we can target benign tumours such as those of the uterus, the uterine fibroids. We can target cancer deep within the body. There's a lot of work now going on looking to see whether we can treat pancreatic cancer, for example, with high-intensity focused ultrasound, or secondary tumours in the liver as well. This is a new technique and we're still discovering and exploring its potential applications. And a very wide range of new treatments are also being developed. We can also use the focused energy to destroy the nerves lying on the surface of the bone that will help us to reduce the pain associated with bone tumours. This pain can be completely debilitating and really affects patients' quality of life. We have in high-intensity focused ultrasound an extremely precise method of destroying tissue very rapidly. When we have such a destructive technique, we need to place the focus of the ultrasound energy very precisely on the tissue that we need to destroy. So we need to use state-of-the-art imaging. This is where MRI comes in. We often use magnetic resonance imaging for this, and that has the advantage that we can map the temperature that we're achieving in the tissue and monitor the treatment in that way. It's also possible to use ultrasound imaging. In this case, we look at the bright echoes that we produce, and we can see these on the ultrasound image as we do the treatment. But until very recently, the brain was shielded from ultrasound beams. Recent advances mean that we can now get ultrasound energy through the skull and focus it deep within the brain. This means that we can destroy the region of the brain that's responsible for the shaking of the hands that some people experience, a condition known as essential tremor. Essential tremor is completely debilitating. It means that people cannot drink, for example, a hot cup of tea without spilling it. We don't have to introduce probes into the brain to destroy these regions. In the past, this has been the only way of treating essential tremor. And so the quality of life for these patients is greatly enhanced. At lower temperatures, there's now another clever way in which doctors are starting to use ultrasound beams. There's now a whole new range of applications of ultrasound in drug delivery. We can use ultrasound to target blood vessels in the tumour and therefore just release drug locally. One way of enhancing the amount of drug that you get into a tumour is to load that drug into a little lipid bubble. These lipid bubbles are injected into the bloodstream and are completely ineffective until they reach the tumour where we can release the drug from them using our ultrasound beam. This approach could reduce the amount of chemotherapy needed and so reduce the well-known nasty side effects. We see therapy ultrasound as having huge potential for a number of clinical applications including a number for which there are no good solutions at the moment. One of the exciting things about this technique is that its non-invasive nature means that it can be carried out on an outpatient basis. This reduces the requirement for hospital stay and the pressure on hospital beds. Thank you.